Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I will show you a fun storyline regarding older legendary players and younger talented players. If you go on and enjoy the video be sure to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel to not miss any other career mode videos. Now let's get into it. So first off let's give you some more information. The younger players who will be the apprentices in this video play in the same positions and have the same nationality as the older player, the master. The storyline you can follow in your career mode is that you can either buy the older or younger player, or both of course, to your team. The master will have to teach the apprentice a lot of things when it comes to football. After a few seasons the master will retire and the apprentice will need to step up his game and show what the master has teached him in these first couple of seasons. You will have to make the apprentice just as good, if not better, than the master ever was. Now you understand the storyline, I will show you several examples of masters and suitable apprentices. Franck Ribéry is one of the greatest French players in football history. The left winger had his best years at Bayern Munich and was supposedly robbed of the 2013 Ballon d'Or. He is 37 years old at the start of a new career mode save and will retire after a couple of seasons in career mode. Currently on Wonder Kid, Ryan Kerki has been getting a lot of hype in the last few years and should become the next French superstar. With Kerki being able to play on the wing and in cam, he could be a good apprentice to Frank Ribéry who is currently a centre forward slash cam at Fiorentina and he can also still play on the wing. Just to explain the storyline more with this example, try to bring both players to the same club and have Ribéry playing the most out of the two until he slowly loses his abilities and sees a decrease in stats. Then Gerki needs to step up and take over Ribéry's role in the squad, eventually becoming just as good, if not better, than Ribéry was in his prime. Next up is Slatan Ibrahimovic, who is supposedly playing his last couple of seasons of his career at AC Milan. The 38-year-old at the start of a new save is still a great player for the club, but his stats will soon decrease. The apprentice to Slatan could be Paulus Abraham, who moved to FC Groningen in the Eredivisie in the January transfer window. The 17 year old was dubbed as another big prospect from Sweden, so try and fulfill his potential by doing this storyline and having both Ibrahimovic and Abraham at the same club, with Abraham slowly taking Ibra's spot in the squad. Ayan Robben is still playing football at FC Groningen after coming out of retirement last year. It hasn't been a success as he hasn't played much due to injuries, so he might retire soon. A good apprentice to Robben could be Mitchell van Bergen. The 20-year-old plays for Heerenveen in the Eredivisie and is known for his massive amounts of pace. He also has 5-star weak foot to go along with that and he could be a good successor to Robin. Juan Luigi Buffon might still not retire in the next 15 years in real life, but he will probably retire in career mode after just one or two seasons. Juan Luigi Donnarumma has of course been doubted as the next Buffon for many years now, but a cheaper alternative to Donnarumma could be Danis Franchi, who has just been added to FIFA. The 17 year old starts off as a 59 rated player, but has 78 potential already which can of course increase due to dynamic potential. He also plays for a former team of Buffon, which is Paris Saint-Germain. For the first few seasons of having them together in career mode, Buffon could teach Frenchy a lot in the goalkeeping area and help Frenchy improve his rating and make him a potential starter before Buffon decides to retire. Someone who you might have forgotten that is still playing is Andres Iniesta who is at Fissel Kobe in Japan. The 36 year old at the start of your new save has seen some fantastic glory days at Barcelona. And the player that could fill in Iniesta's role is Nico Gonzalez who is already at Barcelona currently. The 18 year old also plays at centre mid and is less well known than Moriba who could be another option to be the apprentice to Iniesta. Lionel Messi's footballing career seems to only have a few years left, so you might need to start searching for a successor to Messi. One player that can play both on the wing and in the center is newly transferred Dario Sarmiento, who recently moved to Manchester City in real life. Sarmiento is just 17 years old at the start of a new save and is also left footed, just like Messi. With Ronaldo probably playing his last few seasons of his career as well, Joelson Fernandes could be a great apprentice to have alongside Ronaldo for the first few seasons. Fernandes is able to play in both wings and currently plays for Sporting Portugal, the first club in Ronaldo's career of course. He also has 86 potential already which you can compare to Ronaldo's early days where people gave Ronaldo a lot of potential too. 
Sergio Ramos is one of the biggest Spanish legends in history, but a 34-year-old at the start of a new save is probably closer to his retirement than his 20s. A talent that could potentially fill in Ramos' spot is Ismael Casas, who is currently playing for Malaga. Casas is a right-back, but can also play at centre-back. For the ones that might remember it, Ramos also started his career off as a right-back and later turned into a centre-back. An almost perfect combination, I would say. Juventus is still filled with some older but legendary players. Another one is Giorgio Chiellini, who has been having some injuries the last few years and we might see him retire quite soon. Someone that could follow in his footsteps is Lorenzo Pirola, who currently plays for AZ Monza in the Serie B. Pirola is also left-footed, just like Chiellini, and could be the perfect apprentice to Chiellini. Luka Modric has had an incredible career, even winning a Ballon d'Or. But the Croatian midfielder is getting on a bit and might retire in a couple of seasons. The only Croatian under 21 central midfielder in FIFA 21 is Ante Palaversa, who is currently loaned out from Manchester City to Kortrijk in Belgium. Palaversa has some good around stats already, but these should be improved a bit more before he gets onto the big stage. Having him alongside Modric will help him a lot and Palaversa could potentially take over Modric when he decides to retire. The last master I will be showing in this video is Manuel Neuer. The German goalkeeper has been a world-class goalkeeper for many years now and might need to be replaced in a couple of seasons. An apprentice that could become the next Neuer is Christian Fructol, who is already at Bayern Munich, or Bayern Munich's second team in FIFA, but loaned out to Nuremberg. Fructol is just 20 years old at the start of a new save and still has a lot to learn of Neuer, so having them two alongside each other could work very well in the future. This was the master and the apprentice storyline and many examples that you can use in FIFA 21 career mode. Let me know in the comments which combination you will use in your save. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to not miss any other career mode videos and I will see you at the next video.